cast collide. Well, Sherlock and Quarterman go to the center of Moriarty's cube maze of traps and puzzles, and Sherlock tells Quartermain to wait outside. I'll face Moriarty alone. Moriarty, sitting at a chessboard in the center of a room with a bunch of monitors, cycling cameras all over the new world, and they begin playing chess and philosophically debating the nature and definitions of good and evil in their relation to rationality and reason. Quartermain walks in, Sherlock saying, I told you to wait outside. Quartermain lighting a cigar saying, You think I trust you two alone? Just pretend I'm not here, I don't mind. King Arthur and Watson walk through Albion. All the comely humans and elves, nymphs, and fairies backing away from them, unsure of what to do, Morgana watching them approaching. Why isn't anyone doing anything? Morgana thinks to herself. After King Arthur is in the audience chamber with his sister, Queen Morgana, King Arthur won't stop recanting their childhood together as if it has any relevance on what the current situation is. Van Helsing and Tom Sawyer do practically the same thing, walking to Dracula's castle and facing him from his balcony and completely surrounded by an army of vampires. Little Nemo and the orphans Oliver Twist, Pip, Cosette, and the vampire Wendy flying away on a mattress together in the background. Tom Sawyer yells, I'm placing you under arrest! And the Reapers return and are like, what the? This doesn't seem historically accurate. And the warship bots and the Levicons start following the Reapers back in time from the future possible occurrence of their existence. At some point, fearing that Sherlock is going to go back in time and stop any of this from happening, Oliver Twist jumps into the time portal as the dial is spinning randomly and ends up somewhere in the past, afraid that Sherlock was going to omit the occurrence of his life. <laughs>